Science Station and I am starting this new channel which will be about science in which I will be telling you about the different phenomena of science and I will be solving some of your doubts related to science and answering the questions that you always had about this wonderful world that we live in. So let's get started. To learn modulation we first need to see how radio communication works. This is our radio. And this is the base station. The base station sends radio signals. But in these base stations, as we know, there are actually people speaking. And the frequency of these human voice signals range from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. And these signals are called low frequency signals. We cannot directly transmit these low frequency signals because there are some problems involved in the direct transmission of these low frequency signals. The first problem is length of antenna. For re effective reception, the length of antenna should be one fourth of the wavelength of the signal. This is the relation between the speed of the signal, frequency and wavelength. As radio waves are electromagnetic waves, their speed is equal to speed of light. And for low frequency signals like 15,000 Hz, the wavelength is 20 km. So the length of the antenna should be at least 5 km for effective reception, which is practically impossible. The second problem is interference. In a city, there will be two or more radio stations. And if these stations directly transmit these low frequency signals, they will interfere with each other. That is, they will mix the with each other and will ruin the signals. We can visualize it as two or more people are simultaneously speaking in a room and you won't be able to clearly hear any one of them because the sound waves will mix with each other and ruin the information and it will sound like mess. The third problem is poor reception. The energy of an electromagnetic wave like radio waves is given by this equation where f is the frequency and h is the Planck's constant. From this equation it is clear that for low frequency signals the energy of the signal is very low and hence by the time uh, the re they reach our radio they become weak and leads to poor signal quality. So in general all these problems are caused by the low frequency of signals. If the frequency is high the problems can be solved. Let's see how. For the problem of length of antenna, if a high frequency like 1 MHz is used, then its wavelength would, uh, would be nearly 300 meters and hence the length of antenna would be around 75 meters which is possible as we can have a uh, antenna of length 75 meters. For the problem of interference, if the stations transmit signals of high frequency like 1 MHz and 5 MHz then the difference between the frequency is very high that is 4 MHz and hence the waves will not mix with each other and interference will not take place. For the problem of poor reception, according to the equation that we have seen earlier, E is equals to HF, then for high frequency signal, the energy of the wave will be high and hence the quality of the signals at the reception end would be good. But how to increase the frequency of the signals? The answer is modulation. But in modulation, we do not actually increase the frequency of the signals. What we actually do is we take our information signals which is of low frequency and superimpose it on a carrier signal which is of very high frequency.